You know, when you think of Halloween, you might think of black cats, creepy, crawly creatures, you know, those spiders and all of that. But the San Diego House Rabbit Society wants you to remember the bunnies. Yes, how can we forget the bunnies? And you can help put something together uh, to give them some special treats for this holiday. So this morning, Jennifer Lee is joining us to talk about how to make a bunny Halloween basket. This is a unique one because, yeah, we don't really think about bunnies for Halloween. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Um, first of all, I'd love to find out who's with you, who's standing next to you, and who are these bunnies? So I have here today my volunteer and adoption counselor, Nicole Getz, and she's helping me today with our bunnies, Wanda and Vision. Um, this is Vision and this is Wanda, and they are two of our adoptable rabbits that are bonded pair. Very nice. So they are adoptable bunnies, which I want to talk all about adopting bunnies because I used to have one as a pet when I was little, so sweet and snuggly. Uh, so let's talk about this, the bunny treats and these baskets. How's this going to work? How can people help out? So we put together some enrichment toys. These are the baskets. Here's one of them and here's another one. Okay. And um, every kind of couple holidays, what we do is we ask the public to help us um, bring engagement toy, enrichment toys to the rabbits here at the shelter. So um, for $15 donation, they can help us purchase one of these, uh, build one of, purchase and build one of these baskets for the bunnies. You can see that Wanda likes it. Wanda, and, um, what we not do yet. On October 31st, we will go ahead and do a, a social media live to show people that we're giving the gifts to the rabbits so that they can play with it. Oh, and so can you uh, show us what's in there? Obviously, Wanda's into it. Uh, are yeah, these <laughs> food treats? What kind of treats are in there? So, so we have a willow basket. This okay. is a, a, a safe, chewable item for bunnies, um, and it's not treated. We also have a fun toy from Fun for Bunnies, one of our vendor partners. She created um, a Halloween gift called Frankenstein Sling. And then we take it out of the plastic and give it to the bunnies. We have a lot of hay in here. And then we have another vendor partner that gave us um, um, some treats. <laughs> she likes the gift. Um, called Plum and Lada. And they're little cookies that she created oh. for the bunnies as well. I love it. So At this $15. Is what we do is we put together this whole basket for the yeah. bunnies to play with. Okay, $15 isn't much, right? People spend that at the coffee shop sometimes. So, you know, this yeah. is something that yeah. can help make a bunny happy. Uh, let's talk about the San Diego House Reza Rabbit Society. What you guys do, how many bunnies are up for adoption right now? So we abandoned, uh, we, we rescue abandoned homeless and um, rabbits from the shelters. Okay. Um, we have about 50 to 60 rabbits up for adoption at any given time. Um, they are rabbits that are otherwise going to be euthanized mm. or displaced from the shelters that they ask us for their, our help. I see. Um, Wand and Vision were one of those two rabbits that were actually coming in from an Ensenada shelter with a dog rescue, and um, they asked them to help and then they called us to ask us to help them find a home. Yeah, it's great that you are obviously here doing that work because not everyone's equipped to help bunnies and house bunnies. Uh, so who is equipped to adopt a bunny? Who should be looking for one? Why should we adopt these cute little guys? <laughs> well, the, the homes that we're looking for are those people that are willing to house them indoors and keep them inside, um, engage with the family. Um, they mm -hmm. are not good starter pets. They're not good pets specifically for children, but they're wonderful family pets too. So if they're willing to be able to house them indoors and keep them engaged with the family, those are the perfect homes that we're looking for. And would it be okay if you have other pets? Uh, we do have families that have dogs and cats as well. We would work with them to see how we can integrate them together okay. or, uh, you know, kind of rearrange their house so that both uh, species of animals can live cohesively together. Oh, you're making me uh, miss my old bunny. When I was in high school, I had a bunny for a pet, and she was so sweet. We would just literally snuggle together on the couch and watch TV. Yeah. She had no problem just yeah. lying there next to me. Uh, you know, obviously, each bunny has a different type of demeanor, but she was a very chill one. It was a great pet to have, so yeah. uh, I'm glad that you are bringing attention to this. Uh, again, how can people help out? Where do they need to go to, if they want to get some baskets for these bunnies? Yeah. So if they can visit our website at www.sandiegorabbits.org, on our homepage, there is a Halloween photo. If they click there, they can get to our donation page that specifically um, points towards these Halloween baskets.
from that page, they just choose a rabbit that they want to donate a basket to. And then they pick the rabbit and um, donate $15 towards them. Very nice. All right. Thank you very much, both of you, for being on. And thank you to Wanda and Vision as well for being on with us.